Hi friends, in this video we will discuss convolution integral for finding uh, convolution between a given uh, continuous time signal if the signals are said to be both are said to be unit step signals nothing finding the convolution integral between two unit step signals see evaluate the following y of t equal to u of t plus 1 convolution with u of t minus 2 uh, this one you have to solve by graphical method graphical method we have to discuss we have to perform the graphical means uh, uh, we have to sketch each and every step then we will get the result convolution operation we are going to represent graphically here uh, we have formula y of t equal to integration over the limits minus in infinity to plus infinity x1 of tau multiplied by x2 of t minus tau d tau it is the equation for finding the convolution integral between given two signals see from the given uh, equation we come to know that one signal that is first signal we have to keep constant as it is and second signal shifting after each shift we have to multiply then add this is the process of convolution between two continuous time signals let us see first i am going to sketch u of t plus one nothing but step signal u of t is shifted towards left side by one second and nothing but signal u of t unit step signal u of t is uh, advanced by one second that one i am going to sketch here this is uh, x1 of t nothing but i am going to represent as u of t plus one u of t plus one means step signal is uh, delayed advanced by one second it will start from t equal to minus one onwards second signal x2 of t that is u of t minus two uh, unit step signal is delayed by 2 seconds and signal starts from t minus uh, t equal to 2 onwards okay fine next in the equation uh, index is represented as a tau index is represented as a tau because of that reason once again i am going to re-sketch these two signals x1 of t and x2 of t as a index tau there is no change in the signal simple thing is what only change is that we have to uh, uh, change the index uh, in place of t as a tau everything is remain same now uh, x1 of tau we sketched similarly x2 of tau we sketched everything is same it is same then x1 of tau we sketched this one we got next coming to x2 of t minus tau in order to get x2 of t minus tau uh, we have to keep t equal to 0 if you substitute t equal to 0 what happens it becomes x2 of minus tau x2 of minus tau means a uh, reflection version of this one uh, tau is replaced by minus tau tau is replaced by minus tau the signal starts from minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so on it is what x2 of minus tau so we sketch x1 of tau as well as we sketch x2 of minus tau this signal we have to keep keep on constant and second signal x2 of minus tau keep on shifting for each shift we have to check the amplitudes this is non overlap case uh, we have to find a uh, uh, first signal as it is we have to sketch that is x1 of tau i am to sketch here it is x1 of tau keeping constant as it is second signal we have to shift in such a way that there should be a no overlap between two signals so when see one more point we have to remember here if you substitute t equal to 0 what happens this point becomes tau equal to t equal to 0 this point becomes tau equal to t minus 1 this point becomes tau equal to t minus 2 this is our starting point of the uh, one end of the second signal x2 of minus 2 this signal we have to shift in such a way that there is no overlap between first signal and this signal when it happens when see here the first signal x1 of tau has its amplitude from tau equal to minus 1 onwards minus 1 onwards coming to the second signal t minus 2 it starts from t minus 2 onwards so if this point if this point is less than minus 1 then there is no overlap so for that say if t minus 2 it is this one end of our starting point of second signal is less than minus 1 is less than minus 1 means if you take minus to other side if you take minus to other side it becomes t is less than minus 2 will go other side it becomes plus so minus 2 plus 2 it becomes what plus 1 hence it is t is less than 1 if t is less than 1 
let us check the cases i am going to check first signal as it is second signal what we taken one second i am going to sketch here in this case uh, first signal is keeping constant as it is x1 of t i sketch like this second signal what we taken t minus 2 e is less than minus 1 t minus 2 this is a point of starting point of second signal b shifted in such a way that that should be less than minus 1 anywhere you can take you can take here you can take here you can take here you can take here anywhere you can take here you can take anywhere but that should be less than minus 1 if we take the t minus 2 less than minus 1 then there is no overlap if there is no overlap means there is no multiplication of amplitudes hence what is the result of convolution the result of convolution is 0 the result of convolution is 0 for which condition if t is less than 1 it is for non overlap case okay next we'll uh, check for the overlap cases next we'll discuss uh, overlap case overlap case means uh, first signal as it is you have to keep constant first signal we have to keep as it is constant and second signal we have to shift in such a way that there is a overlap of two signals so we know that uh, the starting point of signal is t minus 2 the starting point of signal is t minus 2 we have to shift this signal we have to shift this signal in such a way that uh, uh, there should be overlap of two signals there is overlap between what these two signals these two signals there, sh there should be overlap let us see first i am going to sketch uh, minus 1 first signal as it is 0 1 2 0 1 2 so on so what is the case if t minus 2 is uh, greater than or equal to minus 1 uh, then only it is possible to overlap if you take minus to other side it becomes t is greater than or equal to minus 1 plus 2 so for the simplification t is greater than 1 so for this value for this time if the value of t is greater than or equal to 1 then there is a overlap of two sequences occurs let us see how it happens first signal as it is i sketch as we taken if t minus 2 is greater than or equal to minus 1 anywhere you can take anywhere you can shift the second signal and place over that anywhere you can shift the second signal and place over the first signal but the condition is that t minus 2 should be greater than or equal to minus 1 if i take here if i take here first case if i take here second signal i am going to sketch it is what t minus 2 so observe the signal here from where to where signal overlaps this amount of signal get overlap this amount of signal get overlap so uh, tell me about the time from uh, t equal to minus 1 to this point to this this amount of signal get overlap correct so time value is what uh, minus 1 to t minus 2 okay this is for the first case so here from minus 1 to t minus 2 overlap case okay for this case similarly uh, condition remains same if i take uh, what is the condition if t minus 2 is greater than minus 1 in this case here i taken if i take here if i take here if i place i if i shifted the second signal and place in this position then what will be the case observe this signal this is second signal it is infinity this point is indicated by t minus 2 now from where to where signal get overlap from this amount of signal get overlap means from where to where once again minus 1 to t minus 2 once again minus 1 to t minus 2 for this also same thing condition remains same but i am uh, checking for the uh, in order to understand you people i am taking the different uh, cases here nothing but different uh, positions here next if i take anywhere else here anywhere you can take anywhere after minus 1 anywhere you can keep second signal anywhere after minus 1 say for example if i keep here this is t minus 2 now observe from where to where signal get overlap overlap means uh, both these signals having the amplitudes they are amplitudes for the same time Ampli uh, overlap means uh, both these signals it is the first signal first signal has its amplitude from t equal to minus 1 onwards it is continuous up to infinity and second signal is what t minus less than t minus 2 it is up to infinity so in this case observe from where to where signal get overlap the signal get overlap this duration so from where from minus 1 to minus 1 to t minus 2 so for three examples condition remains same there is no change in the condition what is the condition 
for this uh, case also t minus 2 is greater than or equal to minus 1 uh, uh, one example we taken one illustration we taken we placed the second signal here and what is the limits limits becomes minus 1 to t minus 2 correct for other illustration second illustration i place here somewhere here after uh, 0 once again we are getting same limits next i place here once again we get the same limits so what we got from these three illustrations what we got if t minus 2 is greater than or equal to minus 1 nothing but if we shifted the second signal in such a way that it is greater than minus 1 we are getting the overlap of two signals from minus 1 to t minus 2 hence hence limits becomes hence limits becomes y of t equal to uh, integration minus 1 to t minus 2 x1 of tau into x2 of t minus tau d tau in, instead of writing a minus infinity to plus infinity overlap conditions you have to write it from minus 1 to t minus 2 that one i written here next further is simplification substitution of uh, uh, respective amplitudes and simplification minus 1 to t minus 2 what is the amplitude of x1 of tau x1 of tau x1 of tau has amplitude what 1 okay 1 as it is as substituted x2 of t minus tau x2 of t minus tau nothing but x2 of minus tau what is the amplitude it is also 1 so 1 into d tau integration of 1 that is tau substitute the limits t minus 2 minus 1 so for the simplification t minus 2 minus of minus 1 so t minus of minus 1 it is what it is what plus so minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 it is minus 1 hence y of t equal to t minus 1 for what which condition if t minus 2 is greater than or equal to minus 1 after simplified this one we got t is greater than or equal to 1 we got amplitude what t minus 1 if the value of t is greater than or equal to 1 so this is the overlap case so we got anywhere you can take we got only one overlap case and one non overlap case one overlap case and one non overlap case so let us uh, write the answer in concise format write the answer in concise format y of t equal to t minus 1 it is amplitude this amount of amplitude is present for what t is greater than or equal to 1 it is for overlap case and else it is 0 for what it is for non overlap okay let us sketch the result how to sketch substitution of values t equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so on it is what sketching of result y of t substitute if t equal to see one more point if the value of t is less than 1 how much amplitude is there amplitude is 0 less than 1 it is amplitude is what 0 okay if t equal to 1 if t equal to 1 what happens substitute t equal to 1 substitute here 1 minus 1 it is 0 next t equal to 2 2 minus 1 it is 1 next t equal to 3 3 minus 1 2 it goes on so what we are getting t equal to t equal to 2 2 minus 1 it is 1 t equal to 3 3 minus 1 it is 2 if 4 it is 3 goes on it is what it is result thank you thank you very much